Hey there, welcome to my studio. We need to talk about the difference between a C sharp and a C natural because the new song that you're going to get has both of those notes in it. So normally on violin, when we play, we're playing like this so that there's a space there between our first and our second finger and the second finger is right next to the third finger. That second finger right here, when he's right up next to the three, is a C sharp. If we move it back here, so it's right next to the one, so it doesn't have a tape anymore, it is a C natural. And we're going to need that in the song that we're about to, to do. I'm going to show you after this the music so you can see where it is and how the music tells us to do that. If you're a middle schooler and you're watching this, you should be aware that instead of G sharps on the E string, you're going to need to have one next to two on the E string also so that you can have G naturals. So let's look at the music. So this is the piece that we're going to be looking at, the Overture to William Tell. It was on your listening list um, last week or maybe the week before. And I just thought it would be interesting for you to be able to try and play a little bit of it. So here's the thing that we need to see, is at the very beginning, this part here called the key signature at the beginning, normally when you play a song, it has two or three sharps there. It usually has an F sharp and at least a C sharp. Well, that's where we were just seeing on, a, on the violin, where the two is next to three, that's a C sharp. But in this case, in this song, there's no C sharp. That means that we always need to play C naturals. So the beginning of this song is telling us, play C naturals unless I tell you otherwise. And remember that C natural is the one next to two. So if we go down here and look, here's the first time. When we play that two, it's going to be a low two right next to the one. But the tricky part is down here, I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. Here, you see that there's a C with the C sharp sign in front of it. That's the old C we're familiar with. So this C is going to be the two up next to the three. And then there's another one up here that's a two next to the three over here. Except for those, all the other twos are next to ones because that's what the key signature at the beginning told us. We don't do C sharps. So when you get down to here, here is another C natural, a two next to one. I should tell you that I didn't have space at the top and I had lots of space at the bottom. So the notes needed for the piece are down at the bottom. You're used to seeing them at the top, but down here I could make them bigger and have more space for them. So any other notes that you're wondering about which string is it on or such, you can refer down to here. So I hope you have fun with this piece. <laughs> 